Hey everybody, it's Martha. Welcome to my Shabby Craft Studio. Just readjusting myself in my chair. I hope you're all doing well. Thanks for joining me. I am going to work on this piece of linen today. I am enjoying, really, really enjoying working on linen. Um, I've done, this was one big piece and I cut cut this one down and I hem the back because when I started it, I didn't have a use in mind. And I'm gonna raise you up, close your eyes. Okay, you can open your eyes. Um, I didn't have a use in mind. And I was using this tote bag, it's a small tote bag, from Target that I got years ago when they were giving them away on Earth Day or something like that. Well, it tore all to pieces. <laughs> I didn't use it that much, honestly. So I wanted to make another one this size because I really liked the size. So I took some of my heavy duty fabric that I used to put on the binding of the ephemera folios I used to make. And um, I measured that tote and I really, it's like, it's uh, 11 by 10, I think. And then I just cut the sides, you know, the strip that goes down the side across the bottom up the middle. Then I made a lining. So I sewed the two of them together and put them inside each other, added handles, and it came out pretty nice. I think I'm going to ice dye this so that it's, you know, not so plain. And then the Target tote had a little plastic thing in the bottom, so I'm reusing that. It's kind of falling apart, but that's okay. You can make a, you know, you can get those dollar cutting boards from Dollar Tree, and you can put those in the bottom. You can cut them to size and put them in the bottom, whatever, which I might do at some point. I think I have one of those laying around somewhere. So I'm going to ice dye this. I hope the dye takes on this fabric. When we tried to marble this fabric, and it's washed and dried, but when we tried to marble this fabric, the marbling paint wanted nothing to do with it. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is um, I decided this was, this was going pretty non-directional when I was making it. And I mean, I could put it on that way, and I could put it on that way. I haven't quite decided yet. Um, but I was having so much fun just experimenting with stuff, with stitches and ribbon and the little mirror and all kinds of little knots and bullion and drizzle and ribbon flowers. And I did this covered bead and um, I did a little heart because I love hearts, anything hearts. Um, and I may still add to this. I don't know. I sort of got... Um, stuck on it yesterday when I was trying to work on it. I think I was trying to overwork it. So there's room for more if I wanted to. And I may just stitch this on after I dye the tote bag. Haven't decided yet, but I think I will. You know, I worry about, um, boy, I didn't sew that very evenly. Um, I worry about this getting like worn and ripped and torn, but hey, it's a piece of my art and I might as well use it. And, you know, then if the bag all goes to crap, then, <laughs> you know, then I'll make more, right? So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So I started this one and I made another heart. Now I do have to leave a little bit. This one I cut smaller. So the hem is, excuse me, going to be very, let me take a drink. <clears throat> Mm -mm. I don't know if that was a good idea or a bad idea. That may cause more trouble. Um, I'll probably hem this a lot smaller. I cut it smaller so that I could make smaller hems. Or I was thinking I might just stitch around it with a, the sewing machine and fray the edges. Why not? Right? So I'm this one I sort of worked non-directionally. I mean, the heart, if I did it that way, it'd be upside down, but who cares, you know? It's it's just, I could do that, or I can do that. So most of it's non-directional. Um, there's a little bit of flowers up here. I was trying some stitches, and 
you know, then I did the flowers and it sort of looks like a vase. <laughs> so there's, there's that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to sort of try to make this non-directional as well. And we'll see how it goes. So um, I think I'm, close your eyes again, I'm going to move you. Okay. All right. I think that's going to be good. I think it's going to be close enough. I'm going to try and stay in the shot, which is my goal. Um, so I'm going to do this. Where is it? It's on here somewhere. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, well, Martha... There it is. I did, I'm going to do this here. Now, Ariane does it, and she has a wonderful video on it. I can link that below if somebody wants it. Um, and she uses size 3 yarn, uh, thread. I don't have any size 3, unfortunately. Um, I really need to get some, but I spent a lot of money this month. Well, the end of July, because I had to buy a recliner, and we ended up getting a recliner love seat because overall it was less expensive than just a recliner from the medical supply store. So we went to a regular furniture shop, Ashley Furniture, and it's being delivered tomorrow, which is shocking because it is like impossible to get anything delivered in less than a week. We actually went on Friday, I believe, and I could not believe that um, they said they would call Saturday or Monday with the delivery date. And they just called a, a few minutes ago, which is the only reason that I am online, uh, online, making this video, <laughs> oops, making this video. So, um, yeah, it's... It's really, you know, it's really cool that it's being delivered tomorrow. And I used to have a recliner love seat, and I loved that thing. That thing got me through two shoulder sur uh, a shoulder surgery and a uh, my other shoulder injury. And I fell off a horse, which I did many many times in my ten years of riding horses sadly enough. And so, uh, yeah, it's, I'm excited to have it back because I've had knee problems for a very long time. Um, I am 65 and I started having knee problems. Ooh. My first arthroscopic knee surgery, this is not even at all. I am terrible at this. Um, my first, that's why thick yarn would, or thread, or that's not yarn, it's thread, um, would be um, sort of, it would look more consistent, I think, if you had thick. But anyway, here we go. So, what was I saying? My first knee surgery was back in 1989, when we got back from Germany. So, I was 33 and I'm 65, so I've been having knee problems. Of course, I had knee problems before we got back from Germany, which is why when we got back from Germany, I had to have surgery. Um, and I've had two arthroscopic surgeries, and right now I just have bone on bone on the inside part of my knee. And I am so not looking forward to the surgery, but yeah. So anyway, so now I have to check with my cardiologist to make sure he thinks it's okay for me to go through the surgery. Ugh, and I don't like my cardiologist. So I have a call into them and we'll see if they call me back today. I'm not as, not as excited about getting that call back, but anyway, um, We have, I don't know if you can hear the cicadas um, and the golfers. 
the mowers were here. Thank goodness they're gone. I wouldn't have been able to record even with the door shut. But it's really pretty out right now. It's um, in the 70s. And it's... That was weird. I could have swore I heard my husband come in, but he left a while ago. Um... Hmm. So anyway, uh, it's in the 70s right now, and it's pretty low humidity and low dew point, which doesn't happen in August. Like, it, it barely ever happens in August. So we've got doors and windows open for a little bit. I had to close my bedroom door. I have a slider in the bedroom, but um, had to close it because when they were out mowing, I did not want them... I did not want all the grass pollen coming in my bedroom. Oh my goodness. I'm going to turn you off for just a moment. I'll be right back. 